Here's the answer for question 4e. So we want to solve this equation here. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of a side step for a moment and just remind you that if I did say 0 times 5, that's going to give me an answer of 0. If I did 3 times 0, that's going to give me an answer of 0. So the rule is, if I multiply anything by 0, okay, the answer is always going to be 0. Now I want to use that rule and extend that to algebra for what we're dealing with here. So what we've got is we've got 3x times all of x plus 4 is equal to 0. So what I'm saying is that I've got something times something it has to be equal to 0. So in order for that to something to be equal to 0, one of those pieces, like we saw in our rule, one of those pieces must be 0. So either the 3x is equal to 0 or the x plus 4 is equal to 0. And if you just think about that for a moment, if I was to substitute a value of negative 4 into that bracket here, that would give me negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So then 0 times anything is 0. Okay, so that's what I want to do. That's what I'm trying to solve here. So if 3x is equal to 0, then to get rid of that 3, I am dividing both sides by 3. And 0 divided by 3 is 0. Or if x is equal to x plus 4 is equal to 0, take the 4 to the other side and it becomes x equals negative 4. So there are those solutions. Now in order to check, if I was to put those back in, so if I was to substitute x equals 0 into the equation, I would get 3 um, times 0 times 0 plus 4. And then 3 times 0 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. And equally, if I was to substitute x equals negative 4 into the equation, I'll get 3 times negative 4 times negative 4 plus 4. So that's going to give you negative 12 times 0, which is 0. So we can always check our answers if we need to.